I grew up in the part in the rural parts of Jamaica in the hills. So when we were young, my stepfather would say, you know, we play in the bush because there's not much interest in inside the house. So we play in the bush and in the hills. So he would say, you know, anything you see the birds eat, you can eat. So we would go to the, the bush and all these plants and anything we see the birds eating, we would try. And then you would put, pick berries and you would grind them and put them on paper and you would see the different colors separating or you find some interesting plants. So you touch a plant, you know, and it closes up. So that stimulated my interest in science. But when I was in high school, if you are in high school in Jamaica and you are good at math and physics and biology and chemistry, everybody expect that you should do science or medicine because that's where because bright people do those things. So I went into science. I didn't like hospitals, so medicine was not a choice for me. But when I went to the university, I decided to study biochemistry. I really love chemistry. Chemistry was my first love, but chemistry did not love me back. So there were parts of chemistry that I couldn't do very well, which were the parts, the physical chemistry that involved the math. So I said, okay, let me do biochemistry. Still has some chemistry in it because, you know, a girl needs love, okay? So in my final year of university, my professor said he wanted somebody, you know, to do a research project with him. And the first day I walked into his lab and he gave me an experiment to do and I put on my little white coat, I felt just wonderful. I love the feeling of, you know, just designing your own experiment and doing your own experiment and having that white coat. So after I was finished university, actually there's a job that I applied for. And I decided, okay, if I didn't get this job, then I was going to go into science. And I didn't get the job. So I went into science and it has been a wonderful adventure. It has allowed me to travel. It has allowed me to meet some very interesting people. But what I really like is when you're doing a piece of research and you have some information, and of the six billion people in the world, at that second, you're the only person who has that information. I love that feeling. It makes you feel very powerful. And you keep it for, you know, one, two, three, maybe 10 seconds before you share it with anybody because that's an amazing thing when you make a new discovery and you're the first. It's, it's incredible. I love that. <laughs> Is Marie Curie close to me? Am I like Marie Curie? That's, that's the question everybody has been asking. And at first, I say no because she was an amazing scientist. First woman to win a Nobel Prize. After a hundred years, still the only woman to win a Nobel Prize in two different areas of science, chemistry and physics. Um, come on, to, to, to say that I'm walking in the footsteps of Marie Curie, that's, that's amazing. To use our names in the same sentence, that's incredible. At the same time, you know, we are mothers, we are women, we are doing science, and somehow we're doing okay and able to balance those two things. So in that way, we are very similar. But you know, she was an amazing lady. I, I, if, I, if I could be, you know, just 5% of what Marie Curie was, I would be satisfied. That's just, that's just too much. <laughs>